Iris House is a center that was established in 1992 by a group of women who were looking at the issues that faced women of color with HIV and AIDS. And they wanted to form an organization that served primarily that target population and making sure their needs were also being met during a time when services focused on gay white men. Uh, we serve primarily African-American women. About 51% of our clients are African-American and about 47% are Latino. Of that, 75% are women and 25% are men. It was a good agency for me. I got to keep it on me for a while because like um, when I first got diagnosed in 97, I didn't know they had a place where I could come to and talk about how it was making me feel. It's really like a family here. The staff is wonderful, you know. And it's very rarely where you find an organization and a staff that will take the, their, the, their personal time out to, to help you with your needs, and they do it here. We provide a host of services here, including a food nutrition program, which we're very excited about because our program is unique in that we offer four registered dietitians on site that provide one-on-one -on -one nutritional counseling to our clients to help them understand how to maintain a healthy lifestyle and healthy eating habits while maintaining medication and treatment regimens. The nutrition program at Iris House teaches clients how to discern between immune boosting and immune weakening foods through supermarket visits and daily cooking classes. I've had a lot of positive experiences really seeing the value in what nutrition can do for people living with HIV um, and the importance of it. Once a week they get a pantry bag and it rotates so one week it's all dry goods like milk and whole grain cereals and brown rices and beans and the next week it's fresh produce. We have an on-site psychologist that does individual counseling for families um, as well as individual clients. We have support groups that we run on a regular basis. We have a women to women group. Um, we have a Latino group as well as a women over 50 group. One of the things I, I work with my clients is that HIV doesn't define you. So how do you know because HIV can easily define you if your day-to-day -day living is going to groups, uh, going to this program or going to that program. So how do you live your life with this disease that has such a stigma? I feel I have nothing to hide and Iris House has taught me, you know, some of these uh, things about stigma, how to deal with it and how to talk to people about it. And this is very important in this community because this community has been hit very hard with the HIV AIDS virus. In New York, we have over 9,500 people living with HIV and AIDS. Last year, about 6,900 people were diagnosed new with HIV and AIDS. We have a program that's prevention education, which is in our East Harlem site. They have a community thing where they teach the people about barriers, how to protect themselves, and uh, addressing people about the HIV because some people don't know about this and Iris House is very good on that field. And I'm one of the outreach workers that go into the community and we do that. Also, outreach also means talking to other people that have been duly diagnosed with this virus and AIDS and don't know where to go and stuff like that. So what I do sometimes, I let them know it's okay and sometimes I let them know about Iris House if they choose to come here. What I like about Iris House is that it delivers all of its services in a very respectful um, manner to the client and to other staff. I know I had this before. Uh, it's a great place. I love this place. It's a great place to really to just hang out and just just talk and make you feel like this is your second home. At this point, you know, I feel that my growth that I've experienced and learned from in these last couple of months that I've been in Iris House has been a blessing to me. I think the New York Post article that was presented on Iris House in February 2007 sums up Iris House. It's a safe haven. It is really a place for people to come, feel comfortable that you can come here and not have to worry about your status, not have to worry about who knows your status. You come here and you're you, and we deal with you as an individual we deal with you as a part of the Iris House family.